let's say you're someone who, you know, is doing something completely different, whether you're, you know, working in PR or you're working, you know, for your, you know, dad shipping company or whatever, but you're thinking you want to sort of go in this direction and, you know, you got the money to put down for a month of InfoSec skills, like where would you start to sort of like put your toe in the water and decide whether or not this is even something you'd be interested in? So uh, if you're trying to figure out if information security and cybersecurity is for you, I really do recommend starting with, with Security Plus. And that's why I've kind of brought it up a gazillion times in this lesson, right. in this talk, uh, because yeah. it is kind of the baseline foundational thing that is looked at in the industry. Um, the nice thing about Security Plus is it covers a little bit across a lot of topics. There's hmm. six domains. It covers everything from cryptography to wireless security uh, down to you know some basic coverage of malware and different types and phishing scams and all that kind of stuff. So it really does give you a good overview of the industry. Um, and it's usually the first place that we have people start. Because if you can start with Security Plus, as you go through, you're going to figure out, okay, I learned about this thing called secure software development. And I really liked it. So maybe I want to go learn how to be a programmer and start doing programming tools for cybersecurity, right? Or you may have gone through the course and you said, you know, that part when he was playing with malware was really, really interesting. I want to go become a malware analysis guy, right? right. And you can start going in that route. Mm -hmm. Or I go, hey, you know what? This digital forensic stuff was really cool. I want to be able to recover lost files and, and work for the police department. Uh, there's all sorts of different things, and you kind of touch on all of those a little bit throughout Security Plus. And then after Security Plus, things start getting more stovepiped into, okay, I want to be a SOC analyst. I want to be a pen tester. I want yep. to be a digital forensics guy, whatever that thing is. Okay, so the sort of parallel track is, okay, let's let's sort of continue this further. You've decided, I want to give this a try. You're looking at Tech Plus, you're getting excited about different things, um, but you don't, want, you don't want to be in that thing where you're just getting certifications and, and nothing to do with it. What are some sort of hands-on things that an average person can do, not necessarily like getting a job in it, but are there sort of things you can do, you know, on the side or as a hobby or as a freelancer or whatever to learn things? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there is a tons of ways to learn now because there is, like I said before, virtualization has made it really easy for us. Yep. Uh, you can go on your computer and download a program called VirtualBox from virtualbox.org, oh, yeah. which is a virtualization software, completely free to use, open source. And then you can go over to Vulnhub, uh, V-U-L-N-H-U-B.org. Yep. And they have a bunch of virtual machines that are intentionally vulnerable. So if you want to okay. practice being a pen tester and yep. learn hacking, you can literally download these machines. They've got hundreds of them and they even have walkthroughs and you can start learning the techniques and practices of breaking into those machines and figuring it out. Um, it's a great way to pass some time and it's kind of like a, a, you know, a puzzle as you're trying to figure these things out. Yeah. Uh, and it's basically a big online video game. So that's one of the, one of the great things to do. Uh, I'll, ju I'll just mention that on, on uh, resources.infosecinstitute.com, we have uh, tons and tons of these capture the flag and, and Vulnhub walkthrough, walkthroughs and stuff. And they're, yeah, they're great fun. Yeah. And that was the other thing, right? Capture the flags are great. And when you start playing in capture the flags, you're not going to do well the first time because you're brand new, but you're going to start learning more and more. And yeah. the more you do it, the better you get, right? Yeah. Um, and also like, like all sorts of games, like you have to learn the system, you know, before you know how to sort of solve the puzzles. Yep. Um, there's another one, uh, Over the Wire, that I really love, overthewire.org. Okay. And if you're trying to learn how to do Linux, for instance, because you just got brand new to Linux, they have a, a walkthrough of 26 levels, I think it is. And as you go through and run the different commands in Linux and learn them, you find the keys that unlocks the next level and you keep working your way through. And so it's kind of a gamified way to learn things. Uh, and I think that's another great thing. Yeah. Um, the other thing I'd recommend is one of the things we as cybersecurity people don't do very well that I think is really important is get out and meet other cybersecurity people. Yeah. Don't just sit behind the computer. Um, in most large metro areas, so if you're near New York, D.C., Baltimore, uh, Los Angeles, any of the major markets, uh, there's a thing called B-Sides, uh, which is a security conference that's like 20 bucks to get in. Go there for the day on a Saturday or Sunday and go learn stuff. Meet other people. Because I guarantee you the job that you're going to get is going to be somebody who's willing to take a chance on you because you met them in person at one of these events. Um, when employers are getting resumes, they're getting hundreds of resumes at a time. They're searching for keywords, and they spend about six to 60 seconds on a resume when they're looking at it. Yep. So you have to make an impression on that resume in 60 seconds or less for them to want to give you a chance at an interview so they can even look, meet you. But if you were at B-Sides last week and you were talking to some guy and you spent 30 minutes over a beer, you yep. might go, oh, I remember Jason. Let me give that guy a chance. Yeah. And so that personal touch, that soft skills like I started at the beginning talking about is sure. really, really important. 